I've got it semi buttoned up. And uh, I'm going to try and actuate the fans before I go any further. Ignition is on. Full codes have been erased, which I guess it's a good sign because they haven't come back. So now we'll go to output test. Fan one was not working before. now let's try fan 2 as well that's the secondary um, fan the uh, air conditioning time just to double check finish timeout start all right I'd say we're good we are fixed No fault codes, I like that. Um, this sensor electronics, I'm not sure what it's for, uh, but it's got an internal error, something about checksum, usually is a dead module. I gotta look it up. Um, I don't know what it is by hand. Um, internal control module checksum error, and then you get that fault for like three times. It's basically telling you that the computer has failed. Uh, but I don't know what it does, so I need to look up. It's uh, 3B sensor electronics. And then this one, the uh, sensor electronics. Dum, da, da, dum. Here it comes. This one is for a garage door opener transceiver. It says no communication, no signal. Uh, that's because there is none. Uh, I don't know if this car was hit in the front at some point or what, but this uh, completely gone. There is no trace of it. Normally it sits, I believe, right there in that cubby. Yeah, and then the wires go to it, but. Uh, I don't know if this car had a, a new bumper put on or what, because uh, that one's missing. So if you want your garage door opener to work, you will need one of those control modules with the pigtail and then uh, um, wiring hooked up again. So that's all the fault codes I have on this car. I am going to put the front bumper back on fire it up, bleed the uh, cooling system, take for a spin, go from there.